Hey guys, welcome to the Metric System of Measurement. I'm Mr. Ratz. We're going to take a look at the system more in detail, including some of the base units. Now, why do we need a system for measuring? First reason is for basic function. Even when I go to the grocery store, I know what units are going to be there when purchasing cereal or milk. The same thing is with being able to communicate effectively. If we have the same language, we could do so quickly, and we don't have to make mistakes. NASA ran on this problem once with one of their satellites. Using the wrong units, they end up crashing a satellite and were not successful on that mission. Now there are a couple different measuring systems. Primarily in the U.S. we use the customary system, which includes inches, gallons, feet, and miles to name a few. In the rest of the world, they typically use the metric system, which includes grams, meters, and liters, and we'll talk about a few others. Now, keep in mind, there's also a few other systems, including the natural unit system. Um, these tend to be things that are out of nature, such as the speed of light, or atomic units, or even gravity, which is a specific number that's commonly used and assumed when talking about certain fields of science. Now, to everybody's favorite system, the metric system, it's based on the number 10. And they got that number by looking at longitude and latitude on the Earth and they broke it down into different fractions getting to the number 10. Now it's used in every country for science and commonly used in most countries with the exception of the US and another small country. Now when we look at the metric system it has a couple base units. These are the common units used for distance we use meters, for volume of an object is liters, for temperature we use Celsius and for mass we use grams. Now the metric system is unique in that when we have a smaller measurement or a larger measurement, we don't really change the word very much. So when you have a lot of meters, we just add a prefix. That might be hecto, that might be centi, it might be deci. These are prefixes we can add to any of the base units. So milliliter, milligrams, millimeter. Now the only exception here is temperature where we don't really change or add prefixes to it. When measuring temperature in the metric system, we use Celsius. Now we're used to using Fahrenheit in the US, so it's a little bit of a change in our mindset. The common tool we use is the thermometer, and the most important temperatures we need to know is zero is freezing, and 100 degrees is boiling. So it makes it a little tough for us to make our conversions, but you can see right here there's a thermometer that has both Fahrenheit and Celsius, and that might be a helpful tool when trying to learn our metric temperature. In measuring distance in the metric system, the base unit is the meter. The most common tool we might use is a meter stick, although they make tape measures and many more measuring devices. The common places we might see metric units is in track and field, like the 100 meter or 200 meter race, in swimming, um, in gun ammo or guns, when we talk about a 9 millimeter, that's a metric unit, and even in mechanical pencils and their lead, for example, a 5 millimeter lead. Now I always like to have a common way to think back about the different units. For example, a centimeter is typically about the width of a finger. A meter, which is our base unit, is typically the length of a full guitar, including the neck. And a kilometer is a little bit tougher, okay, but it's, it's kind of like a small version of a mile. If you actually look at the picture, there's a kilometer pool, and you can see how small these giant resort buildings look in comparison to a full kilometer. Now the base unit, a liter, helps us measure liquid volume, or the amount of space a liquid takes up. We typically use a graduated cylinder to help us with this. And you can see it kind of looks like a test tube and it has a base to it. We'll talk more about that coming up. A couple common uses you might see metric units, um, soda and doctor's needles, take a look at the next pictures here coming up. We'll see a doctor's needle that shows 10 millimeters. We'll see the two liter, uh, again we're familiar with, and we can also see a kiloliter in the size of a hot tub. That would be a thousand liters. Now for measuring mass we typically use grams in the metric system. The most common tool that we use is a digital scale or a triple beam balance. In common places we might see metric mass already, 
I mean, grams would be nutritional labels where you might see five grams of sugar, uh, prescription drugs, sometimes some grains that are for sale, and a couple other foods. Uh, nice, easy images kind of help us understand the basic units. One gram is about the weight or the mass of a paperclip. A kilogram is about a small dumbbell. And we also have a person here. I, I wanted to look at the mass of a person. We're looking at 83 kilograms. And that's someone who actually weighs about 183 pounds. So you can see, in kilograms, I seem super light. But it's just a different way to measure. I'm hoping in this video you get a good intro to the metric system. The base units of meters, liters, Celsius, and grams. I'm hoping in the next video you guys will actually learn how to change from millimeters to kilometers, or centigrams to kilograms, or even the backwards. Say we start at kiloliters and we go down to milliliters. So stick with me in the next video and we'll also have a video to show you how to use the different tools in the metric system.